All right, let's open this up. There we go. This monitor arm is... Okay, opening right now. Okay, so the manual is here. It's on the top part. And surprisingly, it's well packaged, uh, I must say. Uh, I didn't expect that much of a packaging, especially it's an Amazon Basics. It's a discounted uh, items most of the time. Uh, you know, it's not the branded ones and stuff, but this is pretty good. So as you can see, the manual is um, not well made, <laughs> to be honest with you. You know, they just like had a stapler here, one stapler, and then printed everything here. But you know, uh, not a lot of people actually read the manual. So, you know, um, maybe on how to set it up and all that. But after that, you know, nobody really cares uh, that much instead, unless you're really into the uh, presentation or like the Apple products or uh, any other uh, brands uh, that you can think of that has very good presentation. But for me, it's not a big deal, but I just wanna see what's inside right now. So we're gonna put this away. Okay, so right now, here are, I think these are the, yeah, this is one of the arms here, or I don't know, like the elbow part or something. Okay, the middle part, basically. Um, let's open this one. Also, uh, just a heads up, I bought two single arms, not a dual monitor arm. Okay, so this is how it looks like, as you can see. Now put this back. Let's go get this one. Okay, it's the same thing, basically. Um, just to show you, that should be the second one. So I'm surprised actually, uh, cause I ordered the two pack single arm. So I guess, you know, they already packaged it into one. They already had this one. I was expecting it to be like two separate parts, but both are here. What about this one? Okay, here are the screws and other parts that you'll be needing. There's an Allen wrench right here. So that's a good thing. So, cause, so we don't need any, um, screwdrivers or other tools if you don't have any ad, you know, handy. So it's right here. Um, there's a couple of zip ties. Um, let me see if I can show it to you right here. Um, same thing on the other side. Let's take this out. Okay, so here are the two arms. This is the stand. I'm just gonna show you one because they're both the same anyways. But this should be the clamp. This will clamp to the desk. You can see this is how big it is. Top view, behind, or the rear view. And then the bottom view, right here onto the side. Okay, that's how it is. So this is all metal, so I like that. It's pretty good. Um, let me see if there are any plastics. Nope. Um, nope, no plastics. So metal is a good thing especially for monitor arms. So this one is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's 75, it supports VESA 75 by 75 and 100 by 100. So that should be good. Just to make sure, you know, make sure your monitor is uh, VESA compatible, basically. So here you can see the Amazon logo, Amazon Basics. Here is where you get the back plate of it for the monitor, where you're gonna be hooking up the, you know, to the rear of the monitor rather. And here's, here's how it looks like. Okay, and then this is the other one. Is, is there any other uh, parts that's inside here? Nope. Same thing with the other parts. So we're gonna set this up and we're gonna see if it's any good. So just finished setting up the monitor behind me and there are a few stuff that I noticed that I like and some stuff that I don't like so much. First thing I noticed is that it's pretty easy to assemble. Compared to my old monitor arm, that actually took me a bit of a while to actually assemble 
just from the base to the arms of it. Second is that it does have a cable management, although it's kind of basic, but it's much appreciated. But there are a few stuff that I don't like so much about this monitor arm. Number one, the base kind of tilt a little bit actually uh, when you're putting much pressure, especially when you pull it or when you extend the arm all the way forward and then the monitors uh, pressure or when you put a little bit of pressure the base actually tilts a, a little bit forward or it can wobble a little bit i try to make sure that the lock below the desk is really tight or you know really snug and it was so i don't know if it's part of the feature or mechanism like you know it's it needs to be a little bit wobbly or like flexible but you know it's noticeable so i wouldn't recommend this for heavier monitors especially like you know 34 inches and up especially ultra wide monitors where the monitor's weight can affect the uh the monitor arm or the base of it second i notice is the tilting mechanism of it like trying to tilt it up or down even at its lowest tension it's still kind of tight i'm kind of worried that you know my monitor is going to get damaged or i'm going to break the plastic of the monitor especially if you're holding it from the side it's really tight and i don't know sometimes it can be a good thing since you really don't need to be moving that much but if you are showing it to a co-worker especially you know when let's for example you're in an office then you might want to tilt it up or down then you know that might affect the monitor third is that the adjustments can somewhat be limited if you have a wall behind it the same as my desk right now so i noticed that you when you try to push it back it actually needs some space because the arms which is kind of like a zigzag needs a little bit of space so if you are in front of a wall or if your desk is snapped to the wall then it might be a problem or it might be a little bit of an issue you might have to do some adjustments or do some work around to it number four is that cables are somewhat visible at the bottom where you know it hits the base it does have a basic cable management which is appreciated but the problem is when it comes out towards the base uh, it's kind of hard to hide it but overall it's not a bad deal it's actually good for its price range uh, compared to the ergotron which is a bit pricier but i haven't really tried comparing the ergotron monitor arm over this at the moment so that will be for the future videos and hopefully when i get my hands on the ergotron lx monitor arm and if you're okay with just one year warranty of the amazon basics over the ergotron's a five-year warranty if i'm not mistaken don't take my word for it but i think it has an extended warranty compared to the amazon basics but the ergotron is much more expensive anyway so for most people i can say i would recommend this monitor arm from amazon basics it's you know for its price range uh, you can't really go wrong with it i don't know how much better the ergotron monitor arm is at the moment once I get my hands on that, I'm going to try to compare to this. But for now, right off the bat, just a few minutes of setting this up. I think it's pretty good, especially for most people who doesn't have any uh, bigger monitors or heavier monitors. This should do the job. This also goes out to other people who has a stationary monitor arm already or a basic monitor arm, but is also looking to upgrade. I think this is pretty good. Again, I'm not sure how much closer this is especially with quality wise compared to the ergotron but you know we're talking about a price if budget is also considered then i think this is a really good choice but if you want to go for the best go with ergotron but right now i can't really check how much better the ergotron is as long as you're okay with the compromises that this monitor arm has especially if your desk is on the wall and you know if you're willing to do some workarounds like i did then you shouldn't have a problem. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button again. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. I'm Lars of Kilobit Nomad. See you in the next video.